hello friends hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel no attack videos and this is the series of windows server 2022 and in this video i will demonstrate how can we promote a additional domain controller in a existing domain so without any further delay let's get started so i have one vm on vmware workstation and i'm going to promote this server as an additional domain controller but uh, instead of gui i'll use the powershell script so before we promote we need to meet uh, some of the prerequisites so the prerequisites are first uh, domain admin account and second uh, static ip address and the third requirement is open all ad ports from firewall so these are the three things basically we need to make sure everything is set it up so i already made sure i have a domain admin account and uh, i have already assigned a static ip address on this machine and also all the ports are open so let's open the powershell in administrative mode and first we will install the features active directory and uh, have the command install ad features sorry my word and that is install windows feature ad domain a -N, and services services i one include management tools and hit enter so it will install on the adds feature We will verify here whether the ID feature is installed, IDDS feature is installed or not. So 92% completed now. Okay, so it's installed uh, successfully. Let's validate whether the ADDS feature is installed or not. Click on manage, add roles and features and click next and click next. And here we see uh, this box is check. already checked and we will install the DNS server also. So we will add the DNS server feature as well. So let's get back to the PowerShell and same command install minus tl and this is also windows feature and feature name is dns hyphen include tools and enter so dns service is also getting installed now so the dns feature is also installed successfully and let's validate one more time so there is no doubt at all 
a DNS is also installed and click cancel and now we will proceed with the promotion of the domain controller and we will add this server into the existing forest as an additional domain controller. Track it. My domain name, my domain name is test, and then my account, then is R. That's fine. Let's close the bracket, and we are good to go. Yes, it is asking for the password. Post password prompt at enter and then this is TSRM password. So I'll type the password now. Also confirm password. Enter one more time. Yes to all. Okay. Install ADTS services. Okay. Installation is started. All tests completed successfully. Taking domain upgrade status. Installing new domain controller. There is a warning, delegation for the DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found or it does not run Windows DNS server. That is fine. Okay, now it's started replicating the objects. Okay, so again replicating, configuring the DNS service on this computer. Okay, so operation completed successfully. DC promo in general with the context and status is success. And now this server will reboot. So we got a prompt. Server is restarting again. Let the server come up and we'll validate the server is promoted successfully as an additional domain controller. Press Ctrl Delete and log on to the server. Okay. Okay, validate the plugins of ADDS 
users and computers that is getting loaded also let's open the dns services dns yes it's working fine and this is promoted let's check the domain controller so we have three domain controllers now uh, test I have on DC and this is also being promoted so this is how we can promote a domain controller as an additional domain controller and existing domain so that's it in this video thanks for watching